In a previous video, I talked about the concept of level of traffic stress, or LTS. You can go watch that video if you want a full explanation of LTS, but in short, LTS is a rating system for describing how stressful it may be for a person on a bike to ride in a particular location. LTS 1 is the least stressful, and LTS 4 is the most stressful and doesn't have an upper limit. Surveys typically show that just over 50% of people in North America would try riding a bike if there was more low-stress infrastructure available. Also, the absence of low-stress infrastructure is often cited as the main reason why someone who rides a bike chooses to drive to a destination instead. I'm more experienced riding a bike than most people and can tolerate higher levels of traffic stress. So, I thought it might be helpful to get the opinion on traffic stress from someone who doesn't ride a bike very often. In this episode of Bike Bike Nudge Nudge, we have a very special guest, my mom. My mom hasn't ridden a bike in at least 20 years. She's also in the neighborhood of 80, so she fits Gil Penalosa's 880 Cities philosophy. If my mom is comfortable with the level of traffic stress on a road or a protected bike lane, it should be good for almost everyone. Now, for this video, I'll be the one riding, but my mom will be in the cargo bike and giving her running commentary on her level of traffic stress. Maybe if my mom had access to an e-trike and a low enough stress infrastructure around where she lives, she might be convinced to ride again. Please hit the like button if you'd like to see a video about a senior using an e-trike cargo bike to get her groceries. Now, let's go pick up my mom and start our ride. It's a stop. We're at a stop sign. We didn't stop, but who cares? Oh, we're going this way. Oh, dear God. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh, this is a new place. Do you know who that is? I'll be in a carnival. So this is the lowest level of traffic stress. Well, yeah, I, f I feel pretty good going this way. Yes. We're at a yield to bicycles here. Uh, okay, I I don't know. I get stressed when I come up close to these little things. I always think you might be hitting them. Look at all those. Th I'm not. There's no stress now, and this bike route it has bikes going both directions. Yes, this is pretty low stress. I'm, I'm sort of not used to riding on this, so there's a little bit of stress all the time. All the time. But I'm, I'm getting better. There's two bicycles coming. You're awfully close to the bike in front of us, I think. I hope he stops. He's gonna stop. They're stopping. It's only a very minor stress on this stretch of road. There's a bicycle on the right, okay. This is also downtown, so rush hour will be a lot busier. Yes, it's quiet now. This is two way as they haven't marked they haven't marked the path very well here. Stress level is low, still. It's 
stop. There's a car in front of us. It's a red light again. Stress level two. There are a lot of okay. driveways in and out. Yes. And again, during working hours downtown, this would be busy with cars beside us. Try to put more bikes in the lane. Yes, it would be. I find that the traffic next to us, when there is traffic next to us. I'm a little more on edge. Do you think he's going to wait for us? Yes. Well, oh, if bikes can go. Yeah, he has a no. He has a no right turn. Oh, okay. He's not supposed to go. Okay. Not that that stops anyone. Okay. Okay, so we're losing our protection. Oh, we are. That's true. So this is probably stress level three. Yeah, well I haven't, yeah. Wait till we get going a bit, yes. It probably will be. Right now it's okay. There's not a lot of traffic beside us. So I'm, I don't feel stressed right now because the traffic is low. Okay, right now we are traveling with the cars. I feel more safe in this than I would if I was riding my bicycle. You feel safer with me riding than if you were on your own? Yes, I do. Okay. Because we can be seen better somehow. I would not like to be in high traffic here. This road is narrower than the one we just came from. So the stress goes up just a bit here because we're much closer to the cars. Now where are we going? Finish our loop. Okay. There's a bicycle in front of us. So, there you have it. A person who hasn't ridden a bike in the past 20 years, and who only rode occasionally for recreation before that, felt comfortable and would ride her own bike if she could ride where the traffic stress was low. She only felt comfortable when the stress was higher because a more experienced person was doing the riding and the two of us in a back feet is pretty big and noticeable. My mom's experience suggests that a good network of low stress protected bike lanes would get a lot more people out riding bikes. I'm not even going to get into the health benefits of riding a bike. My mom cannot walk very far or very fast, but my guess is that she would do well on a pedal assist electric trike. Thanks for watching.